Foundation against the time to come, so you have a good, which is your shy That's that good foundation, right? And it says against the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life. That's what we gotta do, right? That they may lay hold on eternal life. Okay? Where else? Where, where else is it? Where else is it? Yes. Oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to my trust. Right? And avoid for fame and, right? And vain. Babylon. So that's what we're going to do. Words and avoid vain babblings, right? Empty talk, right? Commit this word unto your trust. This is what we got to do. Keep this word and remain what faithful, okay? And avoid profane and vain babblings, empty talk, opposition, falsely of so called what science, all these different philosophies. We profess and some have erred concerning the faith. Grace be unto thee. This is what we're laying up. Go to Matthews. Right? This is all about what? Hard work, dedication. Hard work, dedication. What you put in, that's what you're going to get out. Excuse me. So yes, whatever you're putting into the truth, that's what you're going to get right back out. Simple as that. Okay. Go to Matthew 6 and... Nineteen. Laying it up for yourselves. Treasures, you see? Treasures. Up on earth. Right? So we're not trying to do that. Lay anything up here. Vain, it's corruptible, right? As it says, where moth and rough doth corrupt, because everything else is corruptible. This could be in having a spiritual mind. Excuse me. That's called having a spiritual mind. Okay. Where what? Trust upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt, because what? Moth what? It eats up clothing. And where thieves can break through and steal. Because any given time, anything you have, what? Could be stolen. Okay, so this is what we lay up. Okay. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Okay. When even moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. So what's that? This word. These ultimate treasures. This is what we're supposed to be laying up. Okay? Bear me just a minute. This is what a spiritual man's gonna lay up. Okay? And it says, for where your treasure is, one of my, this is one of my favorite scriptures. Because it can get you on point. It can get you back on track. Okay. For where your treasure is. Okay. Where will your heart be also? Your mind. Your mind's going to follow. So the things you value most in this life, that's what you're going to be set on. That's what you're gonna, your mind's going to be towards. Right? And it says, 
But where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Your mind. So men that are more focused on the world, that's where their mind's gonna be. Men that are focused on the truth, that's where their mind's gonna be. It's very simple. But our people make this truth very difficult at times. Right? It's our people that make this truth difficult. Right? The light of the body is the eye. Which is what your mind. Right? shall be full of light. So if your eye, your physical eye, and your mind is single, your whole body is going to emanate that light. And that light represents what? Truth, wisdom, and understanding. It says your whole body shall be full with light. Okay? Where else was I? Baby it's but if the eye be evil, so if you have an evil eye, a wicked mind, right? The whole body shall be full of darkness, right? So you're gonna have a dark presence, right? You're gonna have a dark speech, because from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking. And we don't wanna be what, shrouded in darkness. We wanna be shrouded what, in light, okay? If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great, how great is that darkness? Right? So we want to be shrouded in this light. Immerse yourself in this truth, this knowledge. Take time to study. Take time to pray. Read. Okay? No man could serve two masters. The scripture is straight to the point. You can't serve two masters. It says no man could serve two masters. And either he would hate one and love the other. So you're going to pick one and hate the other. I don't know. Yes. So you've got to make a choice. You can't be straddling the fence. Right? You've got to be all in it to win it. You've got to have that expectation. You don't want to be, you don't want to have one foot in the truth, one foot in the world. Not, oh, well, maybe if things don't work out, I could uh, go back into, men are thinking like that. Maybe if this opportunity don't work in the corporate world, bro, you can't think like that. You got to be like, this is the end, this is it. Right? You're not putting your expectations in anything else. See what else we got. It says you cannot serve the Most High and Mammon. Mammon is the god of money, right? Yeah, we make money, but we don't. We're not supposed to worship it. See, this kingdom is full of idolatry. So the worship of money. What would that be? That'd be class idolatry. Okay. And it says, Verify I to you, take no thought for your life. Does this mean you don't look after yourself? No, it's just that you have enough faith to know, well, I'm sure on a particular bill, well, you're just going to deal with it. I'm sure on this, I'm sure on that, you're just going to deal with it. That's what it means to have faith. Okay? Or what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body. Right? For what you shall put on is not the life more than me. Bear me just a minute. I just want to grab some. Um... Alright, we got that. Okay. For not yet for your body, what you shall put on. Because as long as you have enough clothing, all you need is three pairs of jeans and that's it, or two. Or trousers or tracksuit. All you need is a couple tops, all you need is a couple jackets, a couple socks, a couple um, boxes shorts, and that's it. Right? As long as you can do this work, as long as you can serve Yahweh Shai, that's the main thing. Okay? 
Are you not? Are you not? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not. Neither do they reap nor gather into barns. Why? Because their food's provided for them at that particular moment and time. Right? Yet your father and your heavenly father feed of them. Are you not much better than they? The answer is yes. Right? Which of you by taking thought can add one? One. Keep it unto his stature. And my taking thought for the raiment. Consider lilies of the field. And I've got some lilies, okay, as well. And they're, be they're beautiful flowers. Really beautiful flowers. Right? And they're, they're small, but they, they can grow as what? Big as your hand. They're beautiful flowers. Right? How they grow and they toll not, neither do they spin. Right? And yet, I say to you that even Solomon, right, King Solomon, in all his grave was not arrayed, dressed up like one of these. Because Lily are what? Some of the most beautiful flowers. Right? It's the most highest favorite flower. Okay? And there's more. Wherefore, if the most high sow, okay, if the most high sow, clove the grass of the field, okay, it's the most high yet is clothing the grass of the field. You see it right now, it's summer, okay, and it says, which is today and tomorrow is cast into the oven, right? You're going to say, you so called Negro Hispanic Spigliano, right? And it says, it shall be cast into the oven. Shall he not much more clothe you, O ye, of little faith? Right? This is why I keep telling you, brothers, if you ain't got a if you ain't got the sign, create a sign. If you ain't got the 12 trap sign, this is just a cardboard. Bear just a minute. This is just some cardboard, right? Of the 12 tribe sign. Create this sign. I done this myself. Just create a sign. This is just some cardboard. I found and write the sign. Right? It really does catch a lot of a lot of eyes. Okay. It really does. Bear me just a minute. Bear me just a minute. Okay. This sign really does catch a lot of people. It's the bait. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to get a new light off. This one's running out. Right? It really does catch our people. Right? You gotta make that effort, you gotta be passionate about this truth. Because our people look and say, well, I'm on that sign, look. You know, this is what it's about. Having a good mind, having a good expectation for what you have by the other side. Okay? And there's more, baby, just a minute. Wherefore, if the most I clove the grass. Of the fruit which is today and tomorrow is cast into the oven, burnt up. Right? So I hate not much more. Well, you are you of little faith. So this particular chapter is when we're dealing with particular doubts. Right? That's what that chapter's for. Therefore, I take no thought saying, what shall we eat? What am I gonna eat later on? Yeah, I'm just got that covered. Just make sure you're doing the work. Right? And it says. Bear me just a minute. Or what shall we drink? Don't be concerned about that. Or what? what how, how am I going to drink? I had an individual that I knew that was in the truth, that had that mindset. Or what am I going to drink? What am I going to eat? You know? Okay. Don't worry about that. You haven't transport that. Okay. He feeds you. He controls everything. And when you have less, that's just him giving you less. Okay. Come on now. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, the other nations seek after what? The worldly, the carnal things, right? We're not supposed to be like this, okay? For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. Yahweh Shah really knows that we have need of particular things. Food, clothing, shelter, to cover shame. He already knows we need have need, but Remember, this is a test of faith. You sing, are you going to believe in him? Right? Are you going to be in a, of a faithless mindset? Okay? There's more. 
and it says, but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh Shemra. That's what we're supposed to be seeking. Seek ye first the kingdom. And Solomon, what did he do? What did he pray for? Understanding first. That's what he was seeking. Heavenly things. Everything came secondary. Right? Because you may say, well, look, why is he? he's got nice jewelry, he's got this. All that came after. You know, some of the nice stuff I've got, that came after. So, Yahabashai can bless you with things, but when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for him, the blessings come after. Yahabashai will give you a nugget here and there, but make sure you're doing his work first. And he does that to show you, look, while you're doing that work, this is what I can give you in the kingdom. You gotta have faith. All about faith. Right? There's more. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness. That's what we're supposed to be seeking. The kingdom. And his righteousness. Right? That's what we seek. Okay? And all these things shall be added unto you. So everything's gonna be added on. Added. So the Lord can have it where you have great wisdom very great wisdom and not just that also he can also add particular riches he can also give you that when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for your shine this comes first everything else is secondary okay okay Take therefore no thought for tomorrow. You worried about tomorrow. I'm trying to get through today. And you worried about tomorrow. I'm just trying to get through today. Because every day is what, a battle? Okay. For the marsh take thought of the things of itself. Right? Sufficient unto the days the evil thereof. Because we've got to deal with enough evil as it is. 